What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James, redoptionagency.com. Got some more filled. Got some more filled. Been taking it just easy today, sitting around. But <laughs> here we go again. So let me tell you what happened today with eBay and what and some things that I've noticed that could potentially be hurting sales overall. And yeah, um, so the, yesterday evening and this morning, the site seemed to be working pretty well. Sales were coming in. And I didn't realize it until it started happening again. But then uh, later in the afternoon, it started logging me out again and I had to sign in, you know, several times this evening and this afternoon. Once that started, the sales stopped. So it seems like that issue is intertwined somehow with whatever other issues are stunting sales on eBay. Because once it started that I had to start signing back in over and over again, the sales disappeared. Um, so yeah, I've got only got 16 items to pull. It looks like Adrian pulled most of it for me. Um, then two things I've noticed because last few days I've just been sitting down and, and looking stuff up to make sure, you know, I don't have duplicates and to get prices on items to the list, right? One thing, two things I've noticed. The first is the AND and the A-N-D can, don't even, why is it not, not set up to, if you type in blank and blank or blank and the AND sign blank, that the opposite would come up also, but it won't. So like, I can't, I can't think of an example off the off hand, but like I'd be looking up a CD and it was, you know, say this, Clive's and Cole. If I typed in the and sign, anything that had A-N-D would not come up. How I figured this out was I typed something in and I go, huh, I can't believe that's not up on eBay, whatever the case may be. So I copy it and do a Google search, to try to find, you know, it coming up on Discogs, whatever. Then it comes up and I go, Hey, that's on eBay. So it's easier to find eBay items on Google than it is to find them on eBay. Because when you search with the and sign on Google, even if it says A-N-D, it will show you, it will come up in the listing, even if it's on eBay. But yet on eBay, it will not do that. That is... And if, if if something that small is happening, what other little, you know, minute situations are causing uh, potential buyers to not find your product? If a simple and sign can not even bring up your listing if they type A-N-D in, that sucks ass. Let me just tell you straight out. Uh <laughs> So, yeah, the second thing I was going to mention is it's easier to find eBay items on Google than it is to find them on the eBay website. And that's pretty sad. Uh, another thing I noticed, too, is I searched a CD, the, the artist, the name of the CD, and then I put CD after it. Search on eBay, and it said zero found. I'm like, oh, okay, zero found. Copy, paste it, go to Google. So I can get a price point on it on Discogs or what, Amazon or whatever. So I know what to price it at. And the cassette will come up. I go, that's my cassette. I go back and look on eBay. Even though I typed in the name of the artist and the title. And it did not throw it into like the media CD category. For some reason, below when it brought up like items, it would not bring up the cassette. So why would that be if... All the words match except one. Why would it not bring it up? Just because it's in a different category? Well, what if it's something kind of broad that could be in several categories? So that's another thing that could be hurting sales. So like I had the cassette up, but when I searched for the CD on eBay, it did not bring the cassette up even with all those matching words. So I don't know. It, 
the, the way the whole, you know, search setup is, is rigged now, it really makes no sense to me when it comes to stuff like that. And then also too, before, I don't know if it's back to, back to correct yet or not. Like if you would search St. Louis Cardinals hat, it would automatically eliminate the hat category and just show you MLB merchandise category. So, and I know it was doing that on like some Star Wars stuff in the past and other things. So I haven't checked recently to see if that's been fixed or changed back or whatever the case may be. But all these other little uh, situations, they could potentially be, you know, hurting sales if somebody put in the and sign or typed A&D and they're not getting all the results because or any results because, you know, of it being put in eBay, vice versa. So what else is causing, you know, what other situations is this search issue causing? So no, not, not very, not very user friendly, I guess you could say. And the fact that I have <laughs> found the stuff easier found eBay easy items easier on Google than on eBay itself is kind of disturbing. So anyway, let's get into the few that did sell. And uh, so I can just wrap up the evening a little early tonight, might as well. And uh, maybe just go take me a nice, hot, relaxing bath or something. And uh, so let's go. All right, we got this classical CD here. And it sold for $8. We've got... Country USA Time Life 1966 CD. This sold for $9. I'm not letting you out. You just came in. You've been going in and out all night, all day. We've got some <laughs> Mojo Moxie uh, women's high heels. These sold for $11. There he goes. <laughs> all right. And let's see. You got Stefan Wolf self. Title cassette right here, and uh, this sold for clearance of five dollars. And we've got a visor, come on, just a blue denim looking visor, and this sold for eleven dollars. We've got some Nike Cortex, some youth shoes. These sold for $32. Cool colorway. Got Michigan Wolverines hat. Nike hat. This sold for $8. And why didn't you pull that? I just put it up yesterday and it's not here. Huh. Okay, I'll go grab that. And then, oh, the tub's upstairs. I haven't brought it down yet. So I got to run back up and grab that. Okay. So this Cardinal hat, a stadium giveaway. I got plenty of those, or had plenty. I got two left, it looks like. That sold for $7. We got the Walton Payton and the Refrigerator Perry cassette. And that sold for $11. Wrapping together. We got Maynard, Maynard Ferguson album. Clearance $4 on that. We've got Inspiration Quartet, Light of the Day cassette. That sold for $10. We've got Patrick Ball, Celtic Heart Fiona CD. And that sold for clearance of $5. And we got El Tio Pepe, Trucker Hat. And that sold for $9. Alright, we got an overstock item. Yo yo. I got two of these left. Yeah, two of them left. This sold for eleven dollars. And we've got the letter C. Not sure what it stood for, but it was sponsored by Subway. Whatever team it was. Uh sold for nine dollars. Let me go upstairs and grab the other hat. And we got this Solaris. Hat. You'll see this in one of Saturday's videos. Put it up yesterday. This sold for $14. Another thing I noticed that is wrong or that is not working or has been changed. Um, also, I'm still getting the blank pages on eBay. It's been going on for what, about a week now. But I like using this look of my items when I am 
looking items up, right? And how I would get to that, if I wasn't already there, is in my store or on my one of my items, I should say. I would click see other items and it would go to this page automatically. Has been for as long as I can remember. Well, let's see. Last few times I tried this, it goes straight back into the store. So I don't know if this is something they changed or if this is another issue going on. So, but so instead of going to this page that I prefer to look things up instead of looking up in my store because it, it's quicker, or at least it was before this new store update. I haven't tried it with this store update, but that is different and or not working properly right now. So I don't know. So I better bookmark this just in case <laughs> so that I got it there if, as long as it don't disappear. So I think what I'm going to do, it's only what 647 right now. So I think I am going to chill for a couple of hours, maybe come back down, see if there's anything else left to pull by then in order to make this video a little bit longer before I upload it. So let's see. So here we are with that page. And normally it takes three times refreshing to get it. So we'll see if it takes. Okay, it worked on two this time, so that's good. Normally it takes three refreshings to get that thing to come up properly. But pain in the booty hole, pain in the booty hole. So eBay is crapped out. So we got about two hours. Come back down and check. I'm only at 40 sold for the day. Yesterday I hit 68. So yesterday I was cooking. Early today was cooking. This evening's been a total bust. So we only got a few more to pull and then we'll call it a night. So first up T25, we got a $15 straw hat. All right. All right, so I just put this up. Was it this one yesterday or the day before? I don't remember. So this so far. $15, and that is the brand right there. All right, T92 Power Bar Visor sold for $11. T92. So power bar sold for eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. Ooh, yeah, Curse of Oak Island tonight. And they're finally putting in those like ten foot casings, man. Curious to see what they're gonna pull out. It's exciting. As long as they get something, unlike the other years. Always get the same old thing. Alright, next up's an album. Jim Neighbors, Somewhere My Love, sold for clearance five dollars. Let's go grab that in my messy room. are falling on me as I'm walking in. All right, I'm going to need a light. All right. Somewhere, my love, did I say? You're supposed to remember for me. There we go. Somewhere, my love, young gym neighbor right there. So Clarence, five bucks on that, and then that's it. So I think I'm just going to save this stuff for tomorrow. Pack it up in the morning. Because if this keeps going all night, there ain't going to be nothing to pull in the morning. So hopefully uh, it gets fixed <laughs> before then, but we'll see. So another eBay or same eBay mess, different day. They can't even keep the damn site working properly for 24 hours anymore. That's what's bad. I mean, the past, what, week and a half has just been pure and utter, literally the worst the worst condition I've seen the eBay site in when it comes to how many errors and issues I come across daily on the site. It literally, in my 20 years of doing this, have never seen it so bad in the past week and a half. And it honestly feels like to me that this is the norm now. It's not going to change until they change the whole platform. 
because if they knew how to fix it, it you would think it would be fixed by now. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to get fixed. All right, everybody. Thanks for the support. And uh, hopefully we'll have a lot to pull in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Talk to you later. See you in the next video.